Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. How would you like to win a free upgraded wasteboard for your Shapeoko 5 Pro 2x4? Stick around to the end of the video to find out how. So first off, a big thank you to everyone who checked out one of my latest videos where I showed why I love this new wasteboard setup I have on my Shape Poco 5 Pro 2x4. If you haven't checked out that video, please make sure to check it out after you watch this one. And an extra special thank you to all the people who reached out to me either via through the comments on that video or by email who showed interest in purchasing a set of these upgraded wasteboard slats. You've inspired me to start producing these, and I'm happy to announce they are currently for sale on my Etsy shop. So I'm gonna be offering two different versions. The first is the upgraded version with 120 threaded inserts and eight 20 millimeter dog hole slots. The second is a plain version, no threaded inserts, no dog holes, just like the stock slats that come on the machine. However, both units will be made out of one inch ultralight MDF. So you're gonna get extra surfacing capability and it's gonna help reduce some of the shipping costs. If you're interested in buying one of these waste boards, there'll be a link to my Etsy shop in the description below. So other than officially announcing the launch of this new product, the second purpose of this video is to give a little behind the scenes about how I price my items. I know there's a lot of ways that people do this, this is just the way we do it here and it seems to work for us. Basically, whenever we're creating a product that we wanna sell, we look at four basic things. Cost of material, machine time, labor, and profit and overhead. Add those four things up and we have our final price. Here's a quick breakdown of how this works using our wasteboard project with threaded inserts as an example. So first off to produce this product, we have our MDF. As I mentioned earlier, this is one inch thick ultralight MDF. And in the area that I live, it costs about $100 for a four by eight sheet of this material. And that includes the time it takes and the gas it takes for me to go to the hardware dealer to pick it up and bring it home. Out of each four by eight sheet, I can make three sets of wasteboard slats. So that puts the MDF cost for this material at about $35 per set. Next up for pricing, we have the threaded inserts. Now each set of the wasteboard slats takes 120 of these M5 threaded inserts by EasyLock. At the price that I'm currently getting these, that puts material cost for our threaded inserts at $30 per set. Next up, we have to factor in the labor. Now, we don't only have to figure out my personal labor for this project, but we also have to figure in the machine time that it takes to actually create them. Don't forget to add the machine time. Even though you can do something else while the CNC is working, you still have to be in the area while it's working to watch it. You have wear and tear on your machine and you have the cost of electricity and end mills for the machine. So in my shop, I have a standard shop rate of $25 per hour whenever I'm running this machine, no matter what I'm doing. To create this wasteboard project, it takes about one total hour of machine time on the CNC. So that puts machine time at 25 bucks. The next part of the labor equation is my personal physical labor cost. For my labor in our shop, we charge $50 an hour and it takes about 30 minutes of labor to complete this project. That includes loading the CNC, offloading the CNC, installing the 120 threaded inserts, sanding off the tabs, and packaging the product. For this specific project, it takes about 30 minutes of labor time for a total cost of $25 for personal labor. So if you add all of that up, that brings us to a subtotal of $115. But we're not done yet. We still have to add profit and overhead on this. So profit on most general items, I'm looking to make at least 30% in order to bring something to market and actually sell it. This includes our company's profit, but also overhead. So overhead is basically our operational costs, what it takes to run our business. So in that category, we of course have utilities, taxes, and wear and tear on our machines, among other things. So total profit and overhead for this project is $34.50, which brings us to a grand total of $149.50, plus tax and shipping. So that's our really basic pricing strategy. As you can see, there's quite a lot that goes into producing an item such as this, and all items for that matter. Now, of course, this product's not gonna be for everybody, but I at least wanted to have the option for those who are interested to go ahead and pick these up and get to work right away without having to make them themselves. But of course, if you do want to make these yourself, do not worry. I still have and will always have the free cut files on cutrocket.com for you to download so you can make them yourself. But for those who don't feel like making them, just want to get started right away, or maybe can't source one inch MDF, I'm making these available to purchase if you like. So overall, I think there's a little bit of something for everybody. 
All right, so if you watch this video up until this point, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. As a special thanks, I'd like to announce right now that I will be giving away one free wasteboard set. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow me on my Instagram page at Brett's Laser Garage, and comment hashtag wasteboard on this video. The contest will end on Monday, February 12th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And at that time, I'll pick one lucky winner at random from the comments section. After I verify winner, I'll ship out a free set right away. And don't worry, if you purchase a set between now and when the contest ends, and you're the winner, I'll refund 100% of your order. So this contest is open to those who live in the continental United States, and there's no purchase necessary. So thank you very much. Again, I really appreciate you watching the video and supporting the channel. If you have any questions, would like more information, or just have a comment, please leave it down below. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next one.